astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore have been stranded at the International Space Station for over 10 days. They were supposed to return to Earth on the 13th of June, but now, according to NASA, that has been delayed indefinitely. So what has gone wrong? The unexpected delay is a result of helium leak on their spacecraft, Boeing Starliner. The launch had already been postponed once due to a different leak. Once in orbit, four additional helium leaks had developed, which made one thruster unusable. According to a report in The Telegraph, NASA has mentioned that one more time is required to review the spacecraft that is responsible for bringing them back home as the thruster malfunction it was facing has still not been entirely resolved. But shockingly, a new CBS News report unravels how despite deeming the rockets safe for launch, both NASA and Boeing managers were actually aware of this leak. However, they considered it to be too small to jeopardize the entire mission. Moreover, 20 whistleblowers have now come forward to express concerns in regarding to the Starliner project, saying how both NASA and Boeing both knew about the helium leak in the spacecraft before the launch and still allowed it to take off. So will Boeing Starliner be able to bring NASA's astronauts back home? Although there are serious concerns on whether Boeing Starliner will indeed be able to bring back the astronauts back home, NASA says that there is not trivial reason as to why the spacecraft cannot do so. The spacecraft will use parachutes to land in New Mexico in a matter of few weeks. But according to reports coming in, a little more than a fortnight's fuel is left for the astronauts to come back and NASA needs to act on this matter swiftly in an attempt to bring them back home. According to NASA's Steve Stitch, who is the manager of NASA's commercial crew program, he said, and I quote, we are taking our time and following our standard mission management team process and are letting the data drive our decision making relative to managing the small helium system leaks and thruster performance that we observe during rendezvous and docking. But despite officials asserting that Wilmore and Williams are not stranded and can undock and fly home if necessary, the ongoing tests and issues do raise doubts about Starliner's ability to make the six-hour return trip back home safely. So how soon can both the astronauts come back to Earth? The International Space Station had planned the entire Boeing launch after almost a decade of meticulous planning, which involved two phases of delays due to unprecedented troubles. However, the spacecraft ultimately flew, carrying NASA's top astronauts to the International Space Station, but is now having problems in returning back. Although it is estimated that the return voyage can be resumed in a matter of two weeks if things happen according to NASA's schedule. NASA has already rescheduled the planned return three times and now has no date set for it. Since its June 5th liftoff, the capsule has had five helium leaks, five maneuvering thrusters go dead and a propellant valve failing to close completely that has prompted the crew in space and mission managers in Houston to spend that extra time than expected pursuing fixes mid-mission. Even though the propulsion system issues, NASA has said Starliner is still capable of returning the astronauts to Earth if absolutely necessary, that is, if the capsule must serve as an escape pod from the International Space Center in an emergency, or if any of Starliner's perishable items, such as its solar panels, show signs of expiring earlier than planned. Unlike Starliner's current mission, NASA didn't set a scheduled return date for Crew Dragon's first mission that carried astronauts in 2020. That mission ultimately lasted 62 days because the astronauts needed to help out and ISS maintenance because the space station was short-staffed at that time. Well, this is Starliner's first mission to orbit carrying astronauts, the final test that is needed before NASA can certify it as the U.S. Space Agency's second ride to the ISS. It would also join SpaceX's Crew Dragon, which has dominated the government and nascent private markets for human spaceflight amid Starliner's years-long delays and fierce competition from Elon Musk's SpaceX. According to reports, the company, also known for its dominance in the aviation industry, has lost $1.5 billion in these missions already.